The former APC chieftain Ahmed Gulak's murder has caused a stare across the country with reactions from different quarters. Despite the police report in indicting the Eastern Security Network, the Imo state governor has come out to debunk the police findings, insisting that it was uh, politically motivated. This next report x-rays the controversy surrounding the killing. On the 30th of May, a chieftain of the All Progressive Congress and former aide to past President Goodluck Jonathan, Ahmed Gulak, was shot dead by gunmen in Imo state. His killing came as a shock to many Nigerians. Barely 48 hours later, the police in a statement said Mr. Gulak's killers were traced to their location within Imo state on Sunday, where they were shot dead during a gun battle with police operatives. The police report also says that the assailants were members of the Eastern Security Network, or IPOB. So far, with the investigation, even if these persons have been killed, the investigation points to the ESN and IPOB. Sure, it is. Reacting to the news, analysts have raised questions concerning the death of Ahmed Gulak and the quick reaction of the police. Some have mentioned it could be a political assassination. I'm still watching the development as a person uh, because the first reaction we had was that the police had killed uh, the person. Then we also got from the Imo state governor that some arrests had also been made. Because if it was conclusive to say that all the assailants had been killed, then that would have raised questions. Why would you just kill all of them and uh, close the matter? We need, we need to know. Nigerian police has not moved away from the rude and crude way of conducting investigation as is being done in other clients. I expect them to use forensic to conduct this investigation. They use technology, track phone calls, you know, subpoena phones and messages and stuff like that and not rushing into conclusion. With the emergence of the police report, the IPOB has denied involvement in Gulag's killing, saying it has no reason to kill the former aide to Good Luck Jonathan. If you are being accused, you have a right to say your own mind. You have a right of denial or acceptance. So, so, but it is the responsibility of police to actually show incontrovertible evidence to prove that um, IPOB or its uh, other, um, other, other arms is responsible for the killing. He's of no threat to IPOB, so I wouldn't see why IPOB will have a hand in uh, the killing of uh, Ahmed Gulak. I think this idea of trying to rush into judgment and conclusion whenever things happen uh, sometimes mislead us in the direction of our investigation. While further details are being awaited, there have been calls from eminent Nigerians not to ethnicize the killings. Hello, hope you enjoyed the news. Please do subscribe to our YouTube channel and don't forget to hit the notification button so you get notified about fresh news updates.